<laughs> yeah, it's a squad. It's one off theater. Wow. Hello, roadies. I'm some guy named Nate, and we're playing another one off theater. One off theater on the Nintendo Switch. And what is the game, you ask? Well, let's watch this 16 ish bit, 12 bit cutscene. In the near future, on planet Earth. Many kinds of creatures once coexistent, uh, coexisted, sorry, on this verdant planet, but after countless wars and untold, env untold environmental because rico friendly destruction, the planet plunged into an ice age. Ray Romano! Humanity was left with no choice but to migrate en masse underground and watch the entire uh, trilogy of ice age movies over and over on repeat. When the Ice Age finally came to an end, the humans began developing methods that went too fast while they were living underground to one day restore their planet to the lush green landscape it once was, like in the 60s, when there was a ton of pot everywhere. During this time, a large mysterious comet fell to the Earth. However, the progress of restoring their lost ecosystem was coming along, how you say, terribly. Well, and humanity was eventually able to live on the surface again, but there were monsters and demons and shit. Several hundred years have passed since then. Oh, no. There's main character Medgu, into a young man named Jason, Jason Fuckboy, known for being a genius in the field of robotic engineering. Man, I love the Pro Controller. I'm so glad I bought one. One day, he will be nothing. He came upon a creature he had never seen before. It was a frog, you fucking idiot. And then he put the frog in a cage. No records of this creature existed. It's fucking crazy. There's like no music in this part. With this, his interest in the mysterious creature peaked. Oh man, Jason named it Fred <laughs> and began to observe it closely. But after some time had passed, Fred escaped. Oh no! Is this entire game about getting... F oh man, he got he jumped into a portal. Jason gave chase as he observed Fred jump into a mysterious hole. That appeared seemingly out of nowhere. It was all purple and black and indigo, and it cycled through those three colors. He was rather astonished by the phenomenon he had witnessed. But Jason followed Fred down the same hole. That's what she said. He eventually found himself in a cave deep underground. That's what he said. That's where he discovered a large vehicle. That's what she said. Oh man, and then that's the plot. Oh man, we got the Wiener Cannon Gun Car Mobile. Almost as if the vehicle with the name Sophia the Third, Sophia the First is a better show on the side, uh, was inviting him in. The door to the cockpit opened up. Also, cockpit is a funny word. In order to bring Fred back, Jason hopped into Sophia the Third and set out on his adventure. Yay! And realistic HD rumble, go! Little did he know the strange phenomena were only just getting started. Oh man! Oh shit! Look at this Blaster Master Zero. Yeah! How's it going, Rodi? It's one off theater. I'm playing Blaster Master Zero. Game start. I played a little bit of this. I said game start. Oh, you have to actually have to hit start. So, I did. I did slot one, and I played it a tiny bit for a whopping three minutes. But here we go. We're probably going to play it for another three minutes. Game start. Oh, A is backing out. I have to hit start like an old school game. So. Okay, game with this file will start. Why is B select? Yes. Uh, single player. Yeah. You can play this multiplayer, which is fucking cool. Realistic HD rumble, go. I love that. It actually makes a sound in the controller with its HD rumble, just like an engine. It's fucking cool. Is this one of those underground forest areas they made during the last Ice Age? Ray Romano. Ray Romano really loves hundreds of years have passed, but the ecosystem is alive and well. It would seem that the preservation system is still functioning somehow, just like my career. How is that functioning? Better still keep my guard up. I never know what could still be here. Boom. Now we have to shoot bullets. Pow, pow, bullet, bullet, gun, guns, guns. It's a frog demon. Frog demon, fuck you. Wee. So this game is a lot better if you have a pro controller because this game needs a controller. Come on, jump. Yeah. I tried playing it with fucking the Joy-Cons and it didn't work whatsoever. Fuck you. I'm just going to go through this. Fuck you. This is like Metroid meets OG Blaster Master. And it's good. No. Get me out of the fucking... Yeah. There you go. Into the tree. Into the tree, end it all. Into the tree, end it all. Fuck you. This game is really difficult. No. Come on, I want the I want the power up. Give me the power up. Yeah, fuck you. Hooray. Come on. Realistic rumble is affecting. Damn it. I blew up. Damn. 
Take two. Here we go, roadies. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Words and words. Okay. Cool. I just need to spam the fuck out of my gun. Fuck you. Yeah. I need to avoid this fucker. Yes. Cool. Give me health. Thank you. Oh, man. Whoa. That guy went flying. Hopefully he comes back down soon. Come on, other greenman. Come on, other greenman. Hooray. This game is only $10 on the eShop, by the way, Rody. So if you guys have a Switch or a 3DS, it is on both of those consoles. So you can play Blaster Master Zero at your earliest convenience. Ugh. But yeah, I'm only playing it for like 20 minutes on one-off theater because that's how I roll. This is how we roll. Whoa. Whoa. Rocking round and everything on that radio. Whoa. Oh. We just stand underneath him and shoot him. Yeah. Oh, buddy. This is so... You need a real controller to play this. The Joy-Cons are good. Fred's signal is definitely being transmitted from the forest area. Receiver was being displayed on the monitor. I guess I am pretty lucky that Sophia has a functionality like this. With the receiver, I am able to get a general idea of where Fred is. I can't help but wonder how Sophia can track his signal, though. And then again, I don't really know how anything in this machine works yet. Oh, man, why does he sound like that? There you go. Save point. And now we get to the part where I got stuck on. Oh man, there's a tree there. So this game is pretty much underground exploration meets car driving. And it's, yeah, you hit Y to get out of your car. And then you go to this other cool segment when you're like top down shooting. It's so cool. Boom, fuck you. Oh man, there's a present, there's a treasure here. What was it? There you go, fuck you. Dun 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 dun. dun. And you have some bombs with the, B, with the A button, sorry. Here. Damn it. There you go. There you go. Health for NATO. Walk between the spikes. You will like walking in between the spikes. There's a health kit right here. Never mind. That's a bad guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hooray. You can shoot all these rocks to your heart's content. There's another Switch game I really want to play on the show. Oh my god. I didn't know. I'm almost out of health. Damn it. Come on. I just want to blow up Magoo. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I think you are in some rooms supposed to kill all the bitches, so hopefully we can kill all the bitches. Yeah. Give me the health. Thank you. Fully charged. Yes. Now we have to go to the next room, wherever that is. Wow, what's pink? What's What's pink? Pink does more than you think, as I've said before. Also, if you guys are wondering, I might beat Mega Man, or not Mega Man, uh, Bomberman for the Switch, but I don't know. Like, if you look at every other Let's Player, nobody beats it. Not anyone. Not a single bloody person. Like, people either play the multiplayer, or they play, like, even less of the campaign than I did, and then they just say, fuck it. Ooh, a ton of treasure. Worth it. Worth it, yes. Huzzah, treasure for NATO. Oh, that's not something I can blow up? Oh well, I guess I'm done with this room. Time to go to the next room, roadies. Because we're going to play this for only a handful more minutes and I really want to show off what the game has. Because there's a lot of cool shit in this game. I'm just not going to do a full a Let's Play of it. Because it gets really difficult really quick. And there's a lot of shit I have planned, so... I hope your sphincter is ready. Why am I crawling? Get in. Thank you. Uh, fuck you. Oh man. Fuck you, bug. And... In water, you have water physics. It's pretty cool. There you go. Get out of my car. Crawl through here. Come on. I have to explore. I have to use my NES gun to kill. Fight, smash, win. There you go. Saving again. Ooh. Ooh, I can hit X to... Ooh, is this upgrade? <gasps> Ooh, I can, that make, that's a spawn point for my car. That's cool. There you go. That's awesome. I didn't know that. This game is getting better and better. Ugh. Come on, it's a one-off theater's about. It's about fucking exploring games, shooting shit, shooting bugs. Come on. Yeah. Oh shit, I have to get that power up. I have to. I have to. No! Other bug, you fucked me up. Oh, I guess I can use the D-pad too. The D-pad is actually really good on the Pro Controller. Like, I don't get why people, like, bash the Pro Controller so much for the Switch. It is really good. You can't really fuck up a controller. No! I just want to get up there, damn it. The car, like, physics are really floaty, so... As long as you guys know that, you'll be fine! Yeah! 
Fuck you. Let's go down here. Oh no! Into the water. Jellyfish. Jellyfishing, 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 jellyfishing. Okay, so we got landmines. Jellyfishing. You can only go up like two blocks at a time when you're in water mode, so it kind of sucks. Unlike how fucking floaty and cool you are when you're in car mode. I mean, fucking look at this. No. No. No, same thing. God, the things I do for love. Somebody needs to fucking uh, make a Courage reboot game. Make a fan-made Courage game. I'll play it. Actually, guys, you know what would be fucking cool? If any of my programmer friends can make me a game, like Nate Adventures. That'd be great. I don't care what engine, like game engine you put it on. Just as long as the Nate Adventures are actually good. Damn it. No, I told you to fucking jump, damn it. No, I don't want to die. Peta, how come the giant underwater jellyfish killed us? Uh, okay, we're going to try to get as far as we can, because I know there's other caves we can explore. And we'll try to find a few more before the one-off theater ends. But well, the controls are floaty. Come on. Cool. Instead, we'll go... We'll go this way. Are there any caves up here? Ooh, there's a green magoo. Come on, Green Magoo, stop throwing bombs at me. Oh, you left. You beast. Yeah. Woo, I don't like those. Ew, I don't like them. Uh, man, I'm burpy. But that's fine. No! I guess I do have to get over across that shit. So we're going to try our damnedest. Here we go. In the next handful of minutes, we're going to try to get over that shit. This is a one-off after all. Ugh. Come on, fuck you, jellyfish. Yes. Ugh, I just hate the water. The water's too, like, claustrophobic, and the, like, air segments are too jumpy. What the hell? I don't know where else to go. Shitteroni with cheese. Fine. Let's just go this way. Because I already went under that. I went through that cave. Oh, let's go down. Let's go underwater. Oh, man. Mines. Oh, man. I'm not going to lose oxygen or anything. Come on, jellyfish. Yeah, fuck you. I'm going to land on those mines. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Cool. Oh, man. I don't get health. I just get power. Damn it. Cool. That was not worth it. Not worth. Not worth. Not worth. Come on. If you're out of your car and you're underwater, you do lose oxygen. I do know that for a fact. I'm gonna get out of my car. Come on. Come on. No, there's another cave there. I wanna show off one more cave before I die. No. Okay, cool. There you go. In we go. And here's gonna be the last arena we're gonna show off roadies before we die. either die or I say fuck it. Because that's a one off theater works. It's a theater where you all applaud. I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause. Live for the applause, applause. Live for the way that you cheer and scream for me. Oh, man. Fuck you. Green Magoo. There you go. Green Magoo is now dead. I hope, I hope, I hope nobody here was a fan of Green Magoo. Oh, Green Magoo's cousin. Green Magoo the sequel. This is a good strat, just shoot through the rocks. Fuck these guys. Oh no! I made an opening for Green Magoo. There you go, other Green Magoo. Fuck you. Is there anything else in here? Ooh, there's another path. I'll take it. I have two shits of health. Yeah! Save point. Hopefully we can get to a boss. I think this is a boss. Yes! Warning! Thousand Vios, the lair of Thousand Vios. And I have, oh my god, ugly fucking faces. Ooh, that was easy. Okay, then. Oh, now I got more. Cool. Yes. Come on. Come on, another. Come on. Ooh, we got a silver one now. Fucking faces. Oh, my God. Now they're spawning a lot of them. Present. Come on. I have bombs now. Yes. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh my god. Too many faces. Too many people with too many problems. Gotta tell you, it's the land of confusion. Give me them bombs. 
Come on. Fuck you. Specifically. Her. Oh my god. Her. Yes. Double bomb kill. Oh my god. This room sucks. It's just fucking faces. A ton of faces. Her. Her. Come on. No. No. And on that note, roadies, thank you guys so much for watching my one-off theater of Blaster Master Zero. On one-off theater, I'm like, will I play this game again? You know what? Now that I know that the controls are a lot like more fluid, and the, with the Pro Controller, it's like 50 times easier to play this freaking game, I would play it just for fun on my own time. I just wanted to show this game off to you and show you how cool it was. So, on that note, roadies, tell me in the comments if you like Blaster Master and if you would continue playing, if you would game over, if you, like I'm copying continue. They're like my favorite Let's Play group. I'm, not, I'm totally not copying them. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. Blaster Master 1 Off Theater with Nate. Mm, bye.